back to my channel it's Emily here and today we're back with another video and basically today's video is just going to be like um get ready with me yeah basically it guys so we're gonna put we're gonna do our makeup and yeah guys let's just get started also do you guys like my sweater I cut it myself it's a gap it's a gap sweater that I got from Gap and I just cut a little like slits at the top and I think it's super cute and I also got new earrings from Target and I think those are super cute too. But yeah, let's get started. So first things first, we're gonna put sunscreen on because it's freaking been so hot outside and so sunny that I need to actually start wearing my sunscreen, guys. This is the first time I put my sunscreen on in like weeks. And I think it's because it just gave me a sun reaction now because right when I put the camera up, it just fell into the sink. And then I saw it, I was like, you know what, I need to put that on. But yeah, guys, after I get ready, I'm gonna go to this taco truck that's selling video tacos because that's like one of my favorite foods at the moment and yeah I was I've literally been craving it so much so you guys are gonna come along with me to do that and the thing is I can't take my car because my car is currently in the shop right now because um it did get fixed guys it did get fixed but then okay guys so this is what the base looks like without all of the peach fuzz as you guys can see there's nothing, like, no type of hairs there. The base is just smooth. And, yeah, guys, that's my technique of getting a smooth base is basically just to get rid of all of your peach fuzz. Like, guys, I hope you guys are enjoying this video. But I would just like to take a break to show you guys a product that got sent to me, guys. So, right here, I have the Sapphire Hair Removal Device. And it comes in this little cute package. How cute, guys. But basically, this is a hair removal device that you can use for your face, for your armpits, for your bikini lines, anything that you need to get done, guys. But today, I'm going to be using it on my face because I don't know if you guys go through the same problems that I do. But me personally, I have a lot of facial peach fuzz. And I just feel like it shows extra during the summer because you guys know like it's sunny outside, the sun is shining on you. You guys can literally see every single thing in your face. So yesterday, somebody had pointed out that I had a lot of beach fuzz on my face. I was like, oh my gosh. So this literally came in at the perfect time because this helped so much with that. And of course, you guys don't want to like raise your face because that's just going to make the hair grow back thicker and more stronger and you guys don't want that for sure so today we're going to use the sapphire uh hair removal device when we open it there's going to be the device right here here's the instructions these are very useful guys make sure you guys use those and then we're going to take the device out look how cute it is it's purple and it looks so pretty. It looks so cute, guys. What also comes with it is the adapter, which is the plug-in that you plug in into the device. And then you plug it into your plug-in for it to turn on. So we're going to take that out. And we're going to plug it into our device, which is at the bottom of the, the sapphire hair removal. And then we're going to we're going to plug it in. And nothing really happens. Just this little blue light turns on in here. I don't know if you guys can see. But that will make sure to let you know that you have your device on. And then you're going to take out the razor and the goggles. These goggles, aka glasses, are just to help your eyes. The light on the device is super bright. So you guys want to make sure that you guys wear these for any safety reasons. And then with the razor, you're just going to basically shave the area that you want to use the device on because you don't want the hair to be too thick to use the device so you shave it first and then you clean it up with the sapphire hair removal so um this though i'm not going to use on my face so this specifically do not use on your face but if you're doing your armpits or your bikini spots or anything like that please do use a razor so on the sapphire hair removal device there's five different levels and three different like things to put the levels on so there's body there's facial and there's bikini so you guys know what that means as in body like if you guys do like your arms armpits legs stuff like that bikini is down there and then facial is of course your face so that's the levels and it shows on top the levels that you guys choose so when you turn it on okay let me turn it on it makes that noise that it's on 
And then, I'm not sure if you guys can see it because of the light, but it says face, and it's on level one. To change, like, the mode that you want it to be on, you're going to tap the M right here, and then I changed it to, I changed it to body, and I changed it to face, and then I changed it to bikini. And to change the levels at the top, you're going to tap this button right here, the off button, to change the levels higher or lower. So, you guys, we're going to do my face. Here, let me turn it on real quick. I'm going to turn it off real quick so we can get everything ready. And to turn it off, you just hold down the button and it will turn off. But it does take a couple seconds to turn off, so you just let it be. And then let it turn off on its own. So, you guys, we're going to put the glasses on. And then we're going to do the face. By the way, guys, make sure you guys take off your makeup before this so you can get everything well done and good. I currently do not have any makeup on right now. I just woke up, but like I said, yesterday somebody had said something about my peach fuzz, so I know for sure that I have it. It's just that I don't want to have to do my makeup and then take it all the way off, so we're just going to do it first thing in the morning. <laughs> but, um, yeah, guys, let's get started. I know these glasses might look a little silly on you, but... That's okay, guys. It's just for the light reasons, for safety reasons. So, like I said, we're going to get it started. Okay, guys, so I'm going to start down here. To have it work, you have to push down this button. Okay guys, so I'm pretty positive that I almost got everything. My face feels super good right now. I'm going to do my makeup and then I'm going to show you guys how smooth my face looks and all of that. Yeah guys, so let me do my makeup and let me show you guys how much of the peach fuzz that it took off and how my skin looks so smooth now and my makeup base could go on so well. So I'll, give me a second guys. And yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, you guys, they also have a C-Tone app that you could connect to. And you could connect your device right here. Right here is my Sapphire hair removal device. I just click on it. You can choose if you're an expert or a newbie. And I'm a newbie, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. And then this is how you prepare before you use. And you shave, you shave off the visible hair, connect to the power supply, and long press the power button. And adjust the level by pressing the power button. And these are basically just your directions right here. Here's the basic information. Okay, so right here you could choose if you're a female or a male or undisclosed. But I'm a female, so I'm going to go ahead and click that. You put your height right here, guys. And then you put your weight right here. Or you can also choose to skip it. There's also a skipping option right there. And then your hair removal area skin tone. You pick whatever one that you're choosing. I did my face, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it on there. Then you pick your skin tone, whichever one you think you are. I think I'm more in like the medium, warmish kind of. So I'm going to go ahead and click right there. Click next. And then your hair density color. Like what's the color of the hair that you're removing. And I'm going to go ahead and go like maybe like a dark black. It's not too light. And then you, you pick your density. It's um... Mine's a little dense. I don't really have thick hair or much hair. So I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. And then it tells you to prepare before use to wear your uh, goggles to protect your eyes and place device vertically to a 90 degree angle against the skin. And then it starts and then you just push that you're ready. And the device turns on guys and that's how where you go from there. You can also use it from your phone. The sapphire hair removal because it makes it 10 times easier guys. So the link will be in my bio down below and make sure you guys go get it. Now let's jump back into the video. Hope you guys enjoy what's it called air conditioning have the ac had went out so and it's been super hot outside like i said so yeah we don't know what to do guys but we would we took it back to the shop to see if we could get it fixed and then when we get it fixed it should be good i should be good to drive it and all of that but yeah guys let's put my my primer on guys i use this primer this primer is so long like i'm not even gonna lie to you guys like I literally love me the honey, wait, what is it? Honey do me up primer. So bomb, guys. Like, I don't know. I personally like this better than the elf primer. Oh, someone's coming out. But yeah, guys. Guys, yesterday my boyfriend took me to go watch Inside Out. And the movie was so good. And I feel like 
if you have anxiety, I don't know, like, it would kind of give you some type of, like, I don't know, like, feeling, like, because you know what it feels like to have anxiety, like, you know how that actually feels, so, like, if I, if you have anxiety, I feel like it's, it will really hit home. Ooh, guys, I forgot to put my clips in. But, yeah, guys, and we made a little TikTok, too, for our TikTok channel. I don't know if you guys know, but we have a little TikTok channel, like, a account and it's like leah and caesar or something like that so make sure you guys go follow that it's super cute but yeah but yeah guys i was so excited for summer and then now that it's hot outside i'm not excited anymore like i wanted to go back to winter and also like you know like it's summer like you go swimming and all that i'm not really a swimming person i'm not a swimmer so i don't know i don't know how i'm gonna last but yeah guys, also do not mind the background sounds. I'm playing this on my chair pretty right now on my TV. Okay guys, so I put the primer on and I think we're pretty much good. We're just gonna let it sit for a little bit, let it dry, and then we're gonna start with the makeup. The first product that I'm gonna use is this NARS, um, what is it? It's a NARS Complete Concealer and it's in shade Light 2 Vanilla. And I literally have been using this for like the past week and I love it so much. Like I literally, this is my favorite thing ever. And I feel like maybe you wouldn't think that it does any difference. But I personally do because as you guys can see like I have spots right here. This is from like an old pimple or like over here you guys see I have some spots. Or like I have an old scar right here from a pimple too. And I usually put this over my like old scars or like whatever. And I feel like it works so good. So like you just basically put it wherever, like in whatever spot that you want to hide. You know what I mean? So yeah, guys. I'm just trying to lift you guys up a little bit because I feel like you guys can barely see me. <laughs> Let's see. Is that better? I think that's a little better. Okay. But um, yeah, guys. Like I said, you guys are gonna basically just put it in spots that you want to cover. I really wish I had a vanity, guys, but, like, I want a vanity. The only thing is my room is too small for a vanity because, like, it literally will not fit anywhere in my room. But, um, we are about to move soon, so hopefully that I have space to where I can fit a vanity because literally there's nowhere to fit a vanity in my room, guys, I promise you. Unless, like, you want to be, like, so tightly squeezed in, then maybe I could, but, like, I don't know. Viviana has a vanity though, so it doesn't matter. I could just use hers, you know? Guys, don't mind how I look. I literally look like a mouse the way I'm putting this concealer. Yeah, do you guys see how, like, it kind of covered up that spot a little bit? Like, if you just go over it. There, see? It's literally, like, gone. And then over here. Gone. So, make sure you guys go get you this NARS concealer whatever thingy it's like the shape like this like a little tiny circle there's very little product but it's amazing product so definitely recommend and then we're going to put the foundation on and the foundation i already put some on but the foundation that i use is the nars um light reflecting foundation and it's in shade it doesn't say oh it's in shade Sol Salzburg or whatever. But yeah, guys, that's what I'm going to use. At this point, guys, this is literally just a makeup tutorial. So I'm going to make this a makeup tutorial or like a get ready with me. And then I'll do another video or it's like spend the day with me. But I'm going to do like, I'm going to name it. I'm going to be like, get ready with me plus makeup tutorial. Is that good? I feel like that's kind of good, low key. Guys, you know what I've been seeing on TikTok? Where they get like the um the um, laser lip tint. Oh, I want that so bad, guys. You guys don't understand. Like, I want to get a laser lip tint so bad. Guys, look at this fat pimple coming in on my forehead. Do you guys see it? Oh heck no! The big pimple. We're just gonna cover it. But yeah, that's pretty crazy. Please don't, guys. Do you guys listen to Zach Bryan? If you guys listen to Zach Bryan, you guys have to let me know because I feel like like a lot of like people don't listen to Zach Bryan. But like no, like a lot of people do. But not people that like I know personally. Like every time I bring up like Zach Bryan or something, they're always like 
But like, they're like, I follow people on TikTok that like do listen to him and like fan account. Well, I don't follow fan accounts, but like my people on my for you page that his concert show up and stuff like that because you know like I'm interested in that. But um, people that like I know don't listen to him. My mom recently just started listening to him, so yeah. But if you guys listen to him, please let me know because his music is so bomb. Like, it's like I don't even know. I love it. I love music like that, guys. Like. I'm a little, I don't know, I love music like that, like that's my favorite kind of music to be honest. Guys, my pimple is showing so bad right now. Should we put a pimple patch over it? Like just like a little heart pimple patch? Yes or no guys, let me know. But I think I might, I think I'm going to because why is it sticking out that bad? Like, actually. So I think we're just gonna have to put a pimple patch over it. Okay guys, so I just finished with my foundation and now I'm gonna add my bronzer. And I usually always do this before my concealer, but I know a lot of people do it after the concealer, but I personally do it before. Actually, I be forgetting sometimes and I like take turns on like which one I should do first. And like sometimes I'll be putting my concealer first and I'm like, oh shoot, like I was supposed to put my bronzer on. But it's whatever. I think I'm getting sick because my nose is getting really stuffy, guys. Guys, this morning I woke up and my mom was like calling me and she was like, oh, I have really bad nose. And I was like, what? And then she said that, um, what is it called? That she, because my aunt is having a move, was having a movie night tomorrow and I had to cancel plans with my boyfriend's sister because she wanted to go to Six Flags. And then I was like, oh, like, Yo, come on, make sure he's off. But yeah, so I had to cancel plans with my boyfriend's sister because she wanted to go to Six Flags tomorrow. And she, my mom was like, no, like, we have plans and stuff. And then I was like, oh, okay, like, okay. Because she was like, oh, your aunt's deciding if she wants to do it Saturday or, or Friday. And I was like, well, can she do it Friday because I have her plan on Saturday. And she was like, no, that um, she has to do stuff on Friday. And she can't do it on Saturday or Friday. And then I was like, oh, okay. So like, you know, like whatever. So then I just canceled my plans. And then this morning my mom was like, oh, your aunt canceled like the movie thing. Like when she's not gonna do it anymore. And I was like, guys, okay. You guys know when you put your makeup on and then like your face, it just kind of, why does it do that? Because I saw a TikTok and then somebody was like, oh, that means that, I put a lot of browns on and I didn't notice that. But someone was like, oh, that means that you have uh, face mites. And I was like, what? Like, it actually it's just so bad right now, guys. Like, oh my gosh. I better not be face mates. Because I'm going to freaking cry. Okay, now we're going to do the concealer part. And then for the concealer, oh, also I put a little t lip tint on because my foundation was covering my lips. It's the, <gasps> it's the Benefit Floral Tint. It's this, guys. So, yeah, if you want your lips to look like this use that but the next thing i'm gonna do is conceal my face with the born this way multi-use sculpting concealer in shade snow and i usually i usually just put it like right here right here right here right here in those spots let me see if i can make that one oh. I kind of messed it up, but it's okay. And then I put some, I usually put some like right here, right here, right here, on my chin, and on my forehead right there. Yeah, guys, that's where I usually put it. And then blend it out with a beauty blender. Guys, I kind of want to know how to do my hair in like loose cur curls because this is how my hair looks like when I wake up, right? I like how like it looks like it's like wavy like naturally wavy because i mean this is naturally but like i wish that i could like do my hair like this but like make it look nice you know and i don't know how to like i want to know how to do like really really loose like little curls to make my hair be able to look like it's like you know not like i just woke up but like i don't know how to explain it like cute cute like, okay guys the next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna bronzer my nose I think that's what you do. I, pe I think people say contour. Is it contour your nose? But I use bronzer, so... I Wait, what is contour? Like, what the heck is the difference? But, um... <clears throat> I'm gonna do my nose. So, I just grabbed some of my bronzer that I used. And then I just make, like, a... 
I'll just make like a little line. Sorry guys, my mirror's right here. That's why I keep looking over there. But yeah, you're just gonna make like a little line from your eyebrow to like the end of your nose. And then like kind of like blend it in on this side. You know what I mean? And then do the same thing to the other side. Okay guys, and then the light is not giving me justice at all. I'll just show you guys whenever I'm done with my makeup or maybe i can like grab it and then, like show you guys this is what my nose looks like after i use the contour or the bronzer but yeah that's what my nose looks like and now we're gonna put the camera back guys i don't have a tripod so i'm literally using toothpaste to hold you guys up like there's literally toothpaste like under you guys right now but um anyways if any of you guys want to buy me a tripod i'm just kidding I'm just kidding, guys. Please don't buy it. But, um, what do I do next? I think my freaking powder. My setting powder. For my setting powder, I use the Morphe, um, the Morphe Bacon Set Setting Powder in Brightening Pink. This is my favorite setter, setting powder that I think I've ever had before. Yeah, guys, I'm going to use this little, um, whatever thing it's called. And put it in there. Set the face. Okay, guys, we're just going to let the face set, and then, yeah. But while we let it set, we're going to do our lips. I mean, to do the lips, you have, I used the Maybelline New York Superstay Ink Crayon in shade, in shade 100, and then I used the same crayon in shade 80, and I go with the 100 one, and I outline my lips. So you just go like that. Okay guys, so I outlined the lips with the uh, the 100 one, and then I'm going to go in with the 80 one, and go in the inside, and yeah guys, that's my lips, that's how I do my lips, and then now the powder should be set, so we're going to wipe the powder off. Okay guys, and then I'm going to put my blush on, so I used the Too Faced blush in shade Blurry, wait, in shade Watermelon Rain, and then we're just going to grab my... A look at a brush that brush that I have and then we're gonna tap it some more okay guys and the face looks a little pale right now so we're gonna go ahead and put some bronzer in at the top of the forehead because I feel like it would just I don't know make it look more even tone okay guys and for my eyebrows let me see I know a lot of people do their eyebrows first but I do mine last I'm gonna go in with the elf ulta Press. You guys might be a little crooked because it, the freaking thing just shut off and I had to turn it back off the camera. But yeah, we're gonna go in with the brow pencil from Elf, and then you're. I just usually fill in my eyebrows, so like I just like go and like trace the line of my eyebrow. Guys, I think I just messed up my eyebrows. Look how big this eyebrow is compared to this eyebrow. Like. What the heck did I just do? Wow, you're so right now. We're just gonna try to match them at this point. Why is my eye leaking? Like, are you serious right now? This eye is literally leaking water. Okay, so... So, eyebrows are cousins, not twins. But, you know what? It's okay, because... Who cares, you know? Not me, like, you know? So, it's whatever. You guys do your eyebrows however you like to do your eyebrows because, because you know, who cares? But we're just gonna go in with the eyebrow gel and we're just gonna go over these ugly eyebrows and we're gonna move on with our life because my life didn't end whenever my eyebrows look like crap. But, um,. Yeah, guys, so this is what the final look look like, or looks like. This is the final makeup look. It's okay. 
that was sounded so oh my gosh okay it's okay guys you know it didn't turn out exactly how i wanted it to turn out but we're not mad we're not mad you know it's decent if you guys want your makeup to look like this um that's how you how that that's how you get it to uh that's how you get to do it but yeah guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys like subscribe to your post notification bell and comment down below give this video a thumbs up and i'll see you guys on the next video peace out love you guys